bug faces. Chances are you've seen a bug today. Maybe it was a fly or a spider or a caterpillar. A scientist would tell you that a true bug is a certain kind of insect, but to most people, a bug is anything small that creeps, crawls, or flies. That's why in this book, you'll meet lots of different kinds of insects, plus a couple of their relatives, the spider and the daddy long legs. A bug's face is quite different from a person's. Take eyes, for example. Some bugs, like the dragonfly, have huge, bulging eyes that take up most of the face. Others have eyes arranged neatly in rows or in the shape of a triangle. Their mouths are designed for sucking or chewing. Those that suck have a hollow tube that they use like a straw. Those that chew have strong jaws for grinding and feelers that pre-taste food. Bugs smell with their antenna. Some bugs even have false faces that they flash to startle an in attacker. Read on and discover for yourself the amazing variety of bug faces. Big eyes. The deer fly looks like it has green and red eyes. That's because light is being reflected from thousands of tiny eyes that make up the two large compound eyes. Each tiny eye is sensitive to movement. No wonder it's hard to swat a fly. The deer fly likes to drink blood. Its stubby red antenna help guide it to warm bodies. Razor sharp mouth parts slice open the skin and sponge like pads mop up the blood. This fly is especially fond of deer, but other animals will do, even people. Earth to Mars. The snout moth has notched wire-like antenna. Many moths have feathery antenna. None have club-tipped ones like butterflies do. Antenna pick up signals from the air. They detect smells that help the moth find a mate. They also help sense air speed. This moth can use the two feelers in the middle of its face like windshield wipers to clean its eyes. This moth is not really cross-eyed. Those dark circles are reflected light. Most moths are active at night. Unlike butterflies, moths rest with their wings open. A busy bumblebee lands on a flower and unfolds a long tube called a probicus. Pro probicus. From beneath its head, it uses the tube like a straw to sip nectar. Fuzzy yellow hairs on the head collect grains of pollen that the bee carries from flower to flower. The jointed rods on their side of their drinking tube are antenna. They act like a nose and tell the bee when it's found something sweet to eat. Where's the face? At first glance, a daddy long legs seems to be all legs with just a blob for a body, but look closer. Can you see the two black eyes peering from the top of its body? Between the front legs are its long, are its big jaws, but don't worry, it won't bite you. Daddy long legs, legs like to eat insects and nibble on mushrooms. Watch out though, some give off a stinky smell when disturbed. Although it has eight legs, it is not a spider. <laughs> out loud. This wide-eyed hairy monster is a cicada. It's one of nature's noisiest insects. In summer, groups of males sit in treetops and call for their mates. What looks like a speaker box in the middle of the face has nothing to do with sound. It is part of the cicada's feeding system. Inside it, a powerful muscle attaches to a pump. When the cicada sticks its snout probicus into a branch and pumps the pump pulls sap out of the tree into the cicada. Jungle giant. You'd have to travel to a rainforest to run into this giant, three inch long cockroach. Smaller varieties live everywhere except Earth's coldest places. Those black patches that resemble headphones are compound eyes that can see in all directions. The long feelers near its mouth are called palps. 
They pre-taste food and keep this critter from eating something harmful. Did you know cockroaches have been around more than 300 million years? Lean, green, eating machine. Grasshoppers are plant eaters that can cause major damage to crops. They don't have teeth, but they do have strong jaws for grinding food. In addition to their big compound eyes, they have these three simple eyes that form a triangle between their antenna. These eyes are sensitive to light. They tell the grasshopper when it's time to eat and when it's time to rest. Here's looking at you, you, you. Like other spiders, the nursery web spider has only simple eyes. Each of the eight eyes has one lens. Together, they help the spider see in several directions at once, all the better to hunt down its dinner. Just below the two rows of eyes are powerful jaws covered with sensitive hairs. The jaws are tipped with sharp fangs that inject poison into prey. Female nursery webs use their jaws to cradle their young in a huge egg sack. Seeing spots. The ladybug looks like it's wearing a white helmet and sunglasses. The helmet is really part of the skeleton that protects the beetle's head. The dark glasses are compound eyes. Hairs on the upper lip help it find its favorite food, tiny soft body pests called aphids that damage roses and other plants. It uses its chewing mouth parts to eat. As many as a hundred aphids a day, whether you call it a ladybug or a lady beetle or a ladybird beetle, just remember there are male ladybugs too. Fill her up. Ouch, a mother mosquito uses needle-like jaws to pierce your skin, then she sucks your blood through a tube. What looks like an, a leg behind the tube is really her lower lip. It helps steady the tube to keep it on target. Her antenna are sensitive to temperature and help guide her to your warm body. Only female mosquitoes drink blood. They need it to develop their eggs. Males and females use their long feeding tubes to sip nectar from flowers. Long faced and blue. A weevil is a beetle with a stretched out head that looks like a snout. That's why weevils are sometimes called snout beetles. Not all weevils are blue like this one from New Guinea, but they all feed on plants. They use the chewing mouth parts at the end of their snout to drill into the fruit and seeds they eat. Female legs, females lay eggs at the end of these holes. In some weevils, the club tipped antenna fold into the grooves on the snout. Scientists have named about 60,000 kinds of weevils. Have you seen any? Slurp. A painted lady butterfly uses its long probacus like a soda straw to sip nectar from a flower. Butterflies can't bite or chew. They can only drink liquids. A pump in the head draws the nectar into the body. When it's finished feeding, the butterfly rolls its probacus into a neat coil. In some butterflies, the probacus is longer than the body. Did you know that butterflies taste with their feet and smell with their antenna? They are active during the day. Many butterflies, moths, and caterpillars use false faces to scare away birds and other predators. False faces. This moth flicks open its wings to expose two large false eyes called eye spots. An enemy might think twice before attacking. To protect itself, this caterpillar bows its head and puffs up its back to reveal false eyes complete with reflections. Another caterpillar from Central America changes the shape of its head so it looks like a poisonous snake. In a defense, this caterpillar inflates a face-like mask with a startling red border and spits acid from what looks like a smiley mouth. <laughs> Bug faces. 